No more dropping money in the church offering basket. No more giving change to the homeless. No more giving your child some money under their pillow when a tooth falls out. No more Salvation Army Santas collecting donations of spare change. Since all of this will be non-existent. Hi and welcome to Cash and Coins. Today I will discuss the demise of physical cash and I will try to answer a few questions. How will it affect coin collectors or stackers? Will the price of a common circulated coin now be worth more because of its rarity? Will gone be the days of coin roll hunting and finding a piece of junk silver in your pocket as we move closer and closer to the Fed coin to digital currency? All right, let's get into it. Hi, and thank you for joining me here at Cash and Coins. I hope you're doing well. As you know, the Fed and many other countries are discussing and implementing a cashless society. The end of physical coins and dollar bills, because it will also be the demise of paper dollars. Things like the pound, the euro, the yen, they will all disappear. It'll probably be the e yen, the e dollar, the e euro. As a stacker and collector, I have coins from around the world. Coins that will never be produced again, and some coins that are, are rare. But new collectors can still come in the game and start collecting, at least right now. They can find coins in their pockets and start a collection. You know you can fill books with coins. You can buy those books online or at your coin store. But it seems like in the next 10 years, or maybe even less, that will be the past. What will happen to collectors and stackers like us? No more will we find a 1964 dime or quarter in pocket change. Pretty much all these freebies will be completely eliminated. It will be the end of production of coins from the U.S. Mint or maybe even all the mints in the world. So because of this, I did some research to see what the pros are saying and just to see what the internet was saying. And I did find some interesting things. What happens in a cashless society to collectors and stackers? What happens when the Fed coins, central bank digital currencies or CBDCs become the instrument of trade or maybe even cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and they become the standard of trade? What happened when the world mints shut their doors? Well, this is what I found. First, on the internet, I found this from Feroz VR. It seemed pertinent, so I included it. Will digitization threaten numismatics? Collectibles are, by definition, luxury goods, and hence, the collectible market has nosedived in every economic recession. Many collectors are forced to sell their prized collections to make ends meet. So there is an increase in supply. At the same time, collectors have less money to invest in building their collections that drives down the price. The future of numismatics will depend on whether we create the right environment to study and celebrate them. Now that pretty much says that there will always be collectors and I tend to agree with this. But let's dive a little deeper. Coin Update stated, a few generations after the introduction of a cashless society, I can see the hobby taking a turn for the worse if the hobby is not promoted in the right way. Much like stamp collecting has largely become a thing of the past, with the exception of high-end rarities, which perform extremely well at auctions these days. And it went on to say, even in a cashless society, these precious metals such as gold, and platinum will still be worth the value of their gold and silver content. And I believe investors will always be around to invest in bullion and coins of the past. This should give the numismatic community at least a boost in that direction, making sure that coins are not entirely forgotten by the time the grandchildren of our grandchildren come of age. So this article mainly stated that there are risks that, co that collecting coins might be threatened. But gold and silver 
and platinum will always have their value. And I can agree with this too. It makes sense to me. So let's go on to the next article and I have this from the BBC discussing what coins are already out of circulation as we move to a cashless society. And it says, Canada stopped making one cent coins in 2012 while Australia stopped producing new one and two cent coins way back in 1992. The Bahamas is the most recent country to stop production of its lowest denomination of coins, halting production on its one cent piece at the end of January 2020. From the end of the year, shoppers can't use one cent coins there. Little by little, modern coins are disappearing. Gone forever? Maybe. But this next article from Australia gives us collectors and stackers some hope. It's The Guardian, and it states, To try to meet the challenge of a shift away from cash, the Mint has been ramping up its other commercial activities, including collectible coin ranges. It also manufactures coins for other countries in the Pacific. Demand for collector coin products grew a total of $29.96 million, an increase of 9.52%. So this says that in Australia, collectible coins are the rage. That business is booming. And you can look at eBay, Atmex, or any online dealers, and you will see that modern collectible coins are selling like hotcakes. You know, they always have the lunar coins, the kookaburras, you know, the list goes on and on. Well, on to the next article. Now, IFA magazine summed things up in a bright and cheery way when reporting on the Royal Mint, goes on to say, the Royal Mint reports sharp rise in millennial investors and gifting gold. As gold continues to gain mainstream popularity, the Royal Mint recorded a 32% increase in millennials buying precious metals in 2020, and that's customers aged 22 to 37 years old. Yeah, so even though physical currency may be disappearing or on the way to disappearing, the new generation is heavily investing in precious metals. I also found this interesting article. It looks at how much cash people are holding in their wallets nowadays. It's from DW, Made for Mines. It stated that many European countries are not carrying as much cash as before, but some kind of are. Well, look at this. EU minting more coins for a cashless world. A study ranking Europeans by how much cash they carried put Germans on top with a wallet full of an average of 103 euros. The French by contrast carry around 32 euros. Another recent study by Germany's Bundesbank concluded that in 2017 cash payments by value in Germany were down from 50% to 48%. It may be progress but it's still a long way from becoming a cashless society that dreamers dream of. So as you see, people are naturally moving away from cash. I know I rely personally on more electronic payments. I usually never have cash in my pocket. I'm pretty much cashless already. And finally, USA Today states that we cannot go completely cashless. So. For collectors, that means there will be low mintage coins, probably pushing more people to want to collect, just as we experience, uh, you know, lately with the US Mint when it releases a new hot collector coin, these coins become unavailable quickly, and maybe that's what will start happening. Who knows? Well, here's the article. We rate the claim that a cashless society would have zero cash, meaning money would be fully digital, fully traceable and fully controlled, partly false, as some of the claim was not supported by our research. The U.S. is far away from being able to achieve a fully cashless society, and that may not be 
the end goal regardless. So what does this mean? First, if you have not, please hit that like button. As you know, it really helps me out. And if you have not subscribed, I would love for you to join me. And for the subscribers that are listening, thank you so much. As you know, I really appreciate it. Now, as I was saying, what does all this mean? First of all, yes, the world will be on a digital currency. That's pretty much unavoidable. Yes, it's going to take some time for this to happen. But what about collectors and stackers? I do foresee from what I read that most definitely there will be bullion coins available. They won't shut down the mints because it's a profitable market for both the private sector and governments and businesses. Will there be a completely cashless society? It seems like at this time that'll be impossible, but who knows in the future. For now, we should be okay. And yes, some coins will be more profitable than others just like it is now, and I'm talking about in a cashless society. Now, one big downside is if there are not many coins in circulation, new generations may not be exposed to coins where they would be inclined to collect them, just as what happened with stamps, you know, because we went to email and all that. But on the bright side, if the coins that you are collecting are made of precious metals, that will have its value in that aspect of it. I would love to hear your thoughts on this subject. Will coin collecting or stacking disappear? Will a cashless world turn its attention to something new and different? Please let me know. I, I'm really curious what you have to say. Well, I'm going to wrap this up. And as you know, I always say thank you for watching Cash and Coins. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll see you on the next video.